Well, PG&E has had a supply diversity program since 1981, which we're extremely excited about and extremely proud of. Um, and I'm not sure if you all are aware, but all public utilities um, have a mandate, or General Order 156, that have revenue over $25 million. So based on General Order 156, we have percentage goals um, divided by women business owners, minority business owners, and service-disabled veterans. To acquire goods and services from these individual groups, there's a minimum for 15% with minority businesses, 5% for women, and 1.5% for service-disabled veterans. So that's a cumulative of 21.5% of our revenue, annual revenue, that we must spend with these diverse suppliers during the course of a business year. Um, in addition to that, we're required to file an annual report, um, which is a public record, March 1st of every year. Um, and I have to say, for the last four years, PG&E has actually exceeded these goals um, to the tune of, for 2009, um, over $912 million, thus 25.6% of our revenue have been spent with diverse suppliers. It's something we're extremely proud of, and again, um, the mandate has the 21.5%, but in 2007, PG&E actually committed to an internal goal of 30% by 2010. I, I think where we have the challenges are for, um, you know, qualified MBEs or WBEs. Um, most of them are small to medium sized, so it's kind of difficult for them to have access to the capital to, to work with a pg and &E, you know, a billion dollar corporation. So I think that's the challenge that we have in helping them develop um, and build capacity in their organization so that they can do business with us um, long term as opposed to a short term goal. To get those contracts, those three, three to five year uh, master service agreements, that's, that's our goal for them. You know, um, this is something I feel really strongly about. Um, I think it's imperative. Um, as someone, a friend of mine also said, money, all money is green. WBEs and MBEs need to network and partner with one another. Um, I think it would be great if they actually utilized, um, you know, the regional chapters of WeBank um, throughout the state, th excuse me, throughout the country, um, to actually network with each other, to actually have their own matchmaking events, to learn from each other, get best practices, mentor each other, and then that, again, puts them in a position of if they have to partner or they want to partner, um, they can come to large corporations, but in addition, it still helps build capacity and, help their com and helps their company grow. I hope to come away, come away with qualified suppliers um, and long-term relationships. Um, I think it's one of the best things because, again, I think it's it's providing an avenue for WBEs and MBEs to actually communicate with one another. I think it's a, providing a platform, that, excuse me, a platform for them to elevate their business as far as if they can be if they're so technically inclined. Now that there is a challenge, I think, to make sure they have access um, to social media, but I think if used in the correct way, it can do nothing but further their business.